As we wrap up theory of the firm, we always have to get back to basics, which of course is looking for efficiency in the theory that we're exploring. So the question is, in theory of the firm, and in particular for now, a perfect competition, can we find efficiency there? And we're gonna be looking in particular when the firm in perfect competition is at long run equilibrium. So if you don't know what that is, you need to go check a previous video. We're gonna start off looking for productive efficiency because it's pretty easy to find and pretty easy to prove. Remember that productive efficiency occurs either at the highest point of average production, but that since we're not able to see that here, we'll look instead for the minimum point of average total costs. Keep in mind the relationship that marginal cost has with the average cost curve. That is, when it crosses through the average cost curve, it crosses through at the minimum point. So, let's start off looking at AC1, and we can go ahead and ignore the other two for now. If we're at this position, well, QPM is always going to happen where marginal cost intersects marginal revenue. We know that. So a firm for whom uh, AC1 is their average cost, they would be producing here at that average cost. Since that's occurring to the left of where MC intersects AC1, we know that that's not the minimum point. But keep in mind, if average costs at this point A are greater than average revenue, well then this firm is going to be losing money. And again, from, from the previous video or a previous video, we saw that if firms are losing money, they'll exit the industry and price will come up. So we don't find productive efficiency here, but it's also true that we don't see long run equilibrium on AC1. Well, what about average cost curve two? Again, we see that at the point of profit maximization, that the average cost that this firm is going to have will be point B here. And that's not the lowest point, that's not the point where it's productively efficient. But since this point is below average revenue, that means this firm would be making abnormal profit. So again, this tells us that this firm that we see with AC2 is not at long run equilibrium the abnormal profit will attract more uh, suppliers to the, uh, to the industry and their abnormal profits will go away. So the only one that we actually see at long run equilibrium is average cost curve three. And we notice here, it's coincidence that QPM is occurring where MC cuts through AC. So at this point C, that's all, basically all of the curves are converging at that point. Therefore, this is the lowest point of average cost, so this firm is showing or is uh, producing in a productively efficient manner. Note, again, this is only occurring or only possible when it's at long-run equilibrium. And remember, it's long-run equilibrium because average costs are equal to, at this point, average revenue. Allocative efficiency is a little bit more difficult. You have to be a little flexible in how you approach this uh, argument. We've talked about allocative efficiency numerous times. We started off in markets just calling it where demand is equal to supply or equilibrium. In market failure, we said that allocative efficiency was found where marginal social benefit is equal to marginal social cost. And on a diagram, of course, it's just happening in equilibrium whether it be market failure diagram or whether it be just a normal market diagram. Well, let's make a couple observations here. When this is occurring, it's allocatively efficient because community surplus is maximized. Remember, community surplus is the combination of consumer and producer surplus put together. What's happening though here in a more mathematical sense is at this point, at this quantity, the consumers and the suppliers are agreeing that this is what that quantity is worth. So the demanders are saying, hey, we think this product is worth, this marginal product is worth this price, and the suppliers, coincidentally, this is the coordination effort or effective price, suppliers are saying, yes, we also think that's worth the price. So that's why it's allocatively efficient because you have this agreement or this um, coordination or uh, two, two uh, kind of opposing groups seeing it the same way that's what's happening at the point of allocative efficiency. 
Well, it's not a perfect fit, but we can see the same thing in theory of the firm when price is equal to marginal cost. It's not the exact same thing, although I'll make a little argument for that in a minute, but what we're saying is that the price that the firm sets is equal, so the price that the demanders or the consumers have to pay is equal to the marginal cost of the firm. So we do see this same kind of idea of an agreement in that. I have this highlighted in yellow because you do need to know this as a, you know, just something to go memorize. According to theory of the firm, um, you know, theories, um, that is the point of allocative efficiency when we look for it in theory of the firm. Again, the justification of it is this idea of agreement. Okay. One last way to just kind of prove this to you. Remember, we said allocative efficiency happens where demand equals supply. Well, demand and supply have been there um, the whole time, like we talked about in a previous video. Remember, the demand curve is perfectly elastic for the firm in perfect competition, so that's why we call this D, okay? And remember, we said that the supply curve on the previous video, or a previous video, we said the supply curve is the portion of MC that is above average variable cost and that is positively sloped. We don't know exactly where average variable costs are, but let's just say that they're right in there. So now this is the supply curve and that's the demand curve and we're producing where the two of them converge or intersect. So in this case as well, not only uh, in long run equilibrium, not only do we have uh, productive efficiency, but we also have allocative efficiency. Note that those two other uh, average cost curves that I had there before, they still, in those, the price still would have been uh, equal to the marginal cost. Because price is equal to marginal revenue here, uh, and the profit maximization point is where MC is equal to MR, that will always occur. So allocative efficiency happens no matter whether it's a long run equilibrium or whether they're making abnormal profit or a loss but it's productive efficiency that only occurs in long-run equilibrium. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below.